Well, hello, tiny fun people. So, back in the studio shed, uh, lighting looks okay, as long as the sun doesn't come out from behind the clouds. It's natural light at the moment, but should be okay. Today's challenge, I decided, because a lot of my videos are notebook related and generally relatively expensive for a traveler's notebook these days, I thought, can I, can I set up a couple of different things for people on a cheap? Can I, can I go to a supermarket or a grocery store for my American viewers um, and see what I could do? So I set myself 10 pounds and decided, let's see what I can get for 10 pounds in my local supermarket. So I've done quite well. Managed to pick up a notepad. These are quite cool. A7 pocket spiral bound. I managed to pick up a soft cover notebook. And then I managed to pick up pencil set. So pencils, ruler, sharpener, rubber. Some zebra pens. Oh, let's get them all in line, shall we? Yep, that's it. And good old big biros. I think this came to like £10.25 in total. Um, so I was a little bit over my £10, but yeah, okay. So this, this in essence here, if I move these to one side, I think this is the most budget options you could possibly get. Um, spiral bound notepad, spiral pens, perfect size for fitting in a pocket, and just perfect for everyday use. Let me just, uh, one second. Handy thing I'm having tools in a shed. I can just I think everybody's got these. You could even save money. These, this cost me maybe a pound, one pound thirty. Um, these cost like a pound, so a couple of quid. You've got yourself a, an everyday notebook um, for day-to-day -day use. Um, so you can just basically to do film video. Not the best pen in the world, especially if you're a fountain pen user like myself. Um, give yourself a tick box. Um, you know, all the essentials, um, but for literally a couple of quid, you've got yourself a pocket notebook. It's only a few pages. I don't actually say how many pages it is. But it won't be that many pages. But you can use both sides, tear them out, rip them up. Now, my main concern with something like this is these have a tendency to get crushed in your pocket if you are pocketing them thingy. And quite frankly, whilst that is the cheapest possible option or even a pencil, carpenter's pencil, perfect for the website, maybe. Um, but you might want to not use the disposable pen, or you might even have a disposable pen that you've maybe got free from somewhere. I've got tons of um, devil sticks, as I like to refer to them, um, that have come free from wholesalers and stuff. So, quid. Everybody should have one of these in their pocket, in my opinion. Um, takes away any of this trying to remember stuff. If you just write it down, you no longer have to try to remember because it's in this notebook. But that's your budget option. Um, I bought the pencils because if you wanted to use pencils, you could also use a ruler, you could have sharpener and a rubber because you can't have a pencil without a sharpener. I think these were only a quid. I have done some videos, so hopefully, if I remember, I'm editing over the top of me speaking, me picking these up off the shelf. So you'll see. Wasn't overly expensive. All from Tesco. So if we want to go up market a little bit more. Soft cover notebook, very moleskin-esque. Um, 
very, very Moleskin-esque, to be honest. Get rid of the cover. This is uh, 80 gram paper and 144 lined pages. I'm not expecting the earth, but then just to go a little bit fancier, I actually picked up some zebra pens. Now, quite why the box is that big if the pens are that big, but we won't question it. It's obviously something to do with packaging size. Um, pop top. These are ballpoint pens. Bit plasticky, but this entire layout was probably nearly maybe five pounds or so. Not overly expensive. So again, not a huge ballpoint user, but same thing again. Film video. I'm stood up as well, which is not helping. I'm trying not to get my belly in the camera. But yeah, pocket notebook. Everybody could put one of these in their pocket without having any problems at all. But for a few quid, you, there is absolutely no need really to be as, as obsessive about paper and, and as crazy as, as me for traveler's notebooks and things. Just grab yourself a notebook, any kind from a from the supermarket, from the stationers, from Amazon. Um, chuck it in your pocket, write down your notes, see how you get on. This is really as simple as it needs to be. There's no need to take it over the top, absolutely crazy. Um, and you can do everything in these, draw pictures, um, do your to-do list, do your bullet journaling, and turn it into a planner. Um, yeah anyone got any other ideas what you could do with these and if you if there's any anything you'd want me to see me do with the, the little pocket notebooks from the supermarket uh, let me know in the comments and i'll uh see what i can do thanks a lot tiny phone people